This here is definitely gonna be a fun show and one that I've been looking forward to do for quite some time now. Of course, I am talking ribs. I am talking membrane on or membrane off. Does it even matter? So guys, look, my name is Tommy and this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue. If you can hit that subscribe button and ring that bell, I would definitely, definitely appreciate it. So look, within my Facebook group, I'll leave information on that group down below. We are over 400,000 strong from time to time the debate comes up membrane on or membrane off people swear it does not matter you do not have to take it off and that in here is exactly what today's show is all about and nothing else so basically i was up early this morning i got the ribs all prepped out i pulled the membrane off of one rib and kept the membrane on the other rib i seasoned them up I fired up my Lone Star offset, as you can see behind me. We are basically running cherry wood, and we are running from 250 to 275. That sucker is dialed in. We have been on that pit right now for two hours. At this time, I'm gonna take you in. We are gonna take a look at the ribs. Also, I wanna spritz them down. I got a 50-50 water and apple juice. That is the gist of it. Let's go in and let's check out the ribs. So anytime I do ribs, I usually let them run straight out for two hours, no peak, let them to start to develop that nice bark. And as long as everything checks out at that two hour mark, I'll give them a spritz. And these here are looking mighty fine, that is for sure. Alrighty guys, so that is it right there. We are two hours in, and I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna let these puppies run. I may put some foil underneath them at some point, and I may sauce them up at the end, and that is basically it. I'll bring you back maybe for the next spritz. Other than that, it's just smooth sailing. Alrighty guys, look, we are at that four hour mark and I just took a peek. I just hit it with some more wood and we are definitely looking good. I wanna take you in there. I wanna give you that little bit of spritz and look what I've decided to do. Sometimes I'll put foil underneath them, boat them. Sometimes I'll wrap them. But on this cook right here, cause I don't wanna mess with those bottoms at all. I am just gonna put a tin way underneath just to catch the drippings. And I am just gonna start to baste both ribs and I am gonna cook these and let these go. We are approaching that four hour mark. I'm thinking maybe about another hour or so. Let's go in and let's check it out. So look, we are four hours in here. I did spritz once at that three hour mark. Other than that, we will spritz them up again. You wanna make sure everything is looking good. You always wanna make sure there's no hot spots in the pit. You wanna make sure everything is uh, cooking evenly. If all that checks out, you are definitely good to go. Oh yeah. And the bottoms look perfect. Yeah. Man, these are looking good. Oh yeah. All righty, man, like I said, these are looking good. Let's go about another 20 minutes or a half hour. And at that time, I'll come back out. We will start basting them out and we will take this show home. We are about four hours and 45 minutes in. So this is gonna go down as that no wrap rib that is gonna take at that five hour mark. We've been holding steady between 250 and 275. I mean, this pit is amazing. It just sits there, puts on the smoke. There is no doubt about it. Let's go in. I wanna start basting the ribs. Let that go for a little bit. Then I'll get them off, get them on the board and we will take this show home. I've got my favorite uh, sauce all 50 would out with some honey. So that is 50% honey, 50% BBQ sauce. That is usually my go-to. I will just not lightly baste these ribs. I am gonna pour that sauce on. <laughs> oh, and I could tell this is gonna be good. So look, of course, we are right at that five hour mark. That tells me these puppies are done. Let's go check them out and let's get them off. And that is pretty much the norm here. Five hours, no wrap at that 250 to 275 range gives you the pretty perfect rip. And that is looking good. 
I mean, I always like to get the money in there. And like I said, man, we are gonna sauce these heavily and that is exactly what we did. And these ribs are definitely showing a nice color. Really looking forward to the outcome of this. On the board they go. So look, let's take this in live and answer the question, membrane on or membrane off? All righty, guys, look, that is it. And I can tell you, man, for sure, this was one fun cook that uh, anytime I fire up that Lone Star, it is a pleasure. This uh, has the membrane on and this does not have the membrane on. Got rib number one. And rib number two. And I don't really see how the membrane is gonna make such a difference. You could see the membrane here, but I'm not really gonna get to the membrane. Let's check it out. I mean. In a weird kind of way, the membrane actually has a little bit of flavor, man, because of that seasoning. Which, oh, by the way, this sweet heat, I knew was gonna, uh, was gonna be a, uh, was gonna pair well with this because it has that heat and a little bit of sweet, man. Anytime you put the hot and sweet together, you know the deal. This is our, uh, where we pulled the, uh, the membrane. Guys, that is amazing rib, man. I don't know what it is, man, but the Lone Star, man, definitely knows how to smoke up some food. So look, man, final verdict on this. Pulling the membrane, you're wasting your time. It makes it no difference at all. Matter of fact, I'm in a, in a weird kind of way, like I said, it even adds a little bit of something to the cook because it gives you a, uh, a little bit of flavor on that crunchiness of the skin. I don't see it where you're going to bite the rib and the membrane is going to catch and it's going to mess up your bite. I'm not seeing that. I'm not really getting that other argument that by pulling the membrane that uh, that rub is going to penetrate through. I am not really seeing that neither. What I am seeing is that we've been pulling that membrane and it really doesn't make a difference. So look, man, that is all I got for this one. I'd appreciate it if you guys hit that subscribe button and ring that bell because we're going to be doing all kinds of these cooks all summer long. We are going to have a lot of fun. Again, my name is Tommy. I got to thank my Patreons and YouTube join and members information down below. And until next time, stop pulling the membrane and I'll see you soon.